Hi, it's Gab with another review from the 2011 Toronto International Film Festival. Not a typical film festival film I'm reviewing today. Killer Elite is a, an action uh, Jason Statham movie, um, supposedly partially based on true events, based on a book. I can't comment on if they're true or not, never heard about them before, but it takes place in 1980 um, and Jason Statham is uh, a mercenary uh, type who's out of the game but gets pulled back in because his mentor, Robert De Niro, um, gets sort of uh, captive uh, as a pawn in order for uh, this Arab sheik to have some um, hits done on his behalf of um, SAS or ex-SAS agents, uh, SAS being a British elite um, forces at the time. And so uh, Jason Statham's character gets back in the game. Uh, most of the action takes place in Britain um, with a little ragtag extra team of players uh, just basically going through a hit list uh, for this Arab to get Robert De Niro uh, freed. If you think Robert De Niro is a big part of this film, you'd be mistaken. He's, he's a minor uh, character. Uh, this is a Jason Statham vehicle. Again, same kind of character we've seen him play before. He's downplaying it a little bit this time, or maybe it's just me. Um, I prefer my Jason Statham in Britain and in a period piece that is not contemporary, but you know, the 80s are good, or the 60s, like the job. I really like the job. Um, so it's not as cheesy and typical as something like Transporter or Mechanic. Um, it's got a little bit of grit to it, um, almost a, a, a 70s uh, feel in some of the, the look, the style, and the directing. Um, basically, he's, he's going through a hit list, um, so it can be likened to, on the one hand, something like Mechanic, uh, on the other hand, something like Munich, if you want to go the other extreme. And so seeing how the different uh, jobs play out, um, go wrong, have to be improvised, um, and how the other little cast of characters play in was quite entertaining. There's some very well done um, entertain uh, action set pieces, uh, I would say quite um, well directed, um, where you, you really get into the fun of, of what you want from this kind of film. Nothing much beyond that. And same with the performances, um, as I say, Statham is Statham, which you know, I like. It's good. It's, he does his thing. And underplaying it maybe a little bit, but there's no character development. There's really no great moral quandaries or um, uh, anything much below the, uh, the the bald stubbly surface that is Jason Statham. Um, as I say, not much De Niro. The other um, big name here is Clive Owen, and I found him a bit of a disappointment because he's usually quite stellar, and we've seen him in, in sort of a mercenary CIA um, sort of hitman kind of role before too, but he's not suave in this one. Uh, he's a bit more um, uh, disgruntled and rough around the edges, and again, the character development just wasn't there for for me, I didn't really care about any of the, the motives very much or what was going on. So a basic story and entertaining in, in the typical action genre uh, doesn't go much beyond that, um, doesn't deliver much more in, in any given category. Um, certainly in terms of a film festival uh, offering, not exactly um, high end, but if you like this, this genre, I think you will uh, get a kick out of um, Killer Elite because it has a certain style and a certain fun to it. And it has my favorite line of the film festival, maybe even of the year, which is, do you want a lolly? Strawberry or fuck you? Anyway, coming from Tiff, that's all I have to say about this one. Thanks for watching. Oh, how many gabs? Three and a half. Do you want a lolly?